Okay, I have been working on covering up some bald patches in my yard with some grass. I've been learning from grass seed. Just as baby grass plants will burn and die without proper care, so also every soul regardless of faith and strength needs the sweet treat. I've noticed that when the tiny little grass plants come up if you don't keep the ground wet just a day of heat will cause them to wither and die. There is a heat that comes up against us a spiritual heat of darkness. Every soul, not just the little weak, early, just born disciple soul, every soul, regardless of faith and strength, needs the sweet treat. What is the sweet treat? Well, Seek Adonai while you may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Adonai speaks both of God and God's servants, God's messengers, God's sent ones, God's truth speakers. You can call on those that are sold out to God and ask them questions and get revelation. Yes, you can get discernment yourself, but it is written that we see in a distorted way now, and we need to join together and get a better discernment. The light is just coming up. Just as baby grass plants will burn and die without proper care, so also every soul, regardless of faith and strength, needs this sweet treat. Well, around here at Family Honesty Camp, the sweet treat the sweet treat from Jesus is the Honesty Meal family. The regular maintenance of the soul. That is a thing that Jesus taught. That is a thing that was in place for 300 years. That is a thing that has never been taught and has never been around me in a consistent, primary, high-priority way in 63 years of being surrounded by Christianity. This is why God has made me into a voice, a humble servant king. I'm only a king because I have understanding. And what I do with that understanding and how I apply it is the key. It's the most important thing. All things with gentleness. All things with understanding and compassion. I was raised and surrounded by Jesus followers who never taught regular heart sharing. I was surrounded by Jesus followers who never taught regular cheerful honesty about callings. Let's talk about callings. King Saul had a calling. And it wasn't a super easy one. And need, he needed help to take care of that calling. He needed to communicate. He needed to say that to his people. Listen, we've got this great victory and we can all celebrate. But we also have to make sure to follow these things that we're called to do. The rich young ruler had a calling right from God, right from God's messenger. God's messenger came to him. Jesus is the supernatural visitor. The rich young ruler had a calling right from God's messenger. And he didn't manage to follow that calling. The most important thing in 
the Honesty Meal family is that we're in a war. And what is your work? What is your calling? If Jesus was called to a crucifixion, the Holy Spirit will be calling you to emotionally difficult things. What are you being called to do that if you did it, maybe thousands would be rescued someday? Just because you worked with one person and a huge transformation is made. So when we come together <clears throat> and we have a, a heart sharing time, a regular cheerful honesty time, we're being honest about our callings and also about our common sins with communion in homes with a cluster of families. That's it. You don't have to memorize 40 scriptures to be able to talk about your inner calling and your troubles. That is the first point of training. How can we begin? Begin. Begin the sweet treat. <clears throat> begin the sweet treat from Jesus. Do you realize that becoming the Honesty Meal family it's more important than miracle signs and wonders. It's more important than driving out demons and, and making salvations. Why? Because it's the maintenance of the soul. How do we begin maintaining the souls? How do we begin the true ecclesia? See, ecclesia actually means an honorable ruling body of people, people who are called out to do a special thing and be in a position of loving leadership, being the light of the world, being the salty truth that must be spoken. True Ecclesia. It was tragic because... The King James Bible, that word ecclesia, is translated church, which is a made-up word. Ecclesia means something, and it implies a ruling body. The ruling body is in the home. It's the honesty meal family where the Holy Spirit speaks to us collectively. The Ecclesia, the true Ecclesia. The concept of Ecclesia would be a challenge to a king. Begin the true Ecclesia, the true honorable ruling body of peoples who are confident in the Holy Spirit until death ends our service to friend Yeshua. That's the whole game. Yes, there are many things to learn. There are many details to focus on. There are many areas of life that we need to be honest about and admit where we're dealing, we're dealing with our common sins. <clears throat> but more importantly... We're sharing what our callings are so that we can pick one, one another up and carry one another closer to our calling and helping out with those challenging things. Remember Yeshua asking the disciples to pray and intercede for him because he was scared, he was terrified. Now don't you dare think that God isn't going to call you into an atmosphere that feels burdensome or difficult or even terrifying this is the truth just as baby grass plants will burn and die without proper care so also every soul regardless of faith and strength needs the sweet treat the sweet treat from Jesus the honesty meal family for regular maintenance of the soul Thank you for watching. This is July 20th, 2020.